Senior diplomats from UN member countries, including South and North Korea, are expected to have a heated debate this week in Geneva over, over Pyongyang's human rights abuses, and that won't be all on the agenda. Airang's Connie Kim has more on this story. The two Koreas are likely to have a heated debate in Geneva this week over North Korea's dire human rights situation and the regime's nuclear program. North Korea's Foreign Minister Ri Su-yong will deliver a keynote speech at the UN Human Rights Council on Tuesday, during which he's expected to condemn the adoption of a UN resolution that calls for the North Korean leadership be referred to the International Criminal Court. Pyongyang has been demanding its human rights record be expunged after North Korean defector Shin Dong-hyuk admitted to falsifying parts of his story about his experiences in a prison camp. However, South Korea will refuse to budge on the issue, as Seoul's vice foreign minister Cho Tae-yeol is expected to call for follow-up measures to the UN human rights resolution during his speech. Human rights is a very sensitive issue for the North Korean regime. It seems as though North Korea will use all means and efforts to dodge the issue. The clash is likely to continue during talks over Pyongyang's nuclear program at the Conference on Disarmament. Echoing his comments from the previous UN address, the North Korean minister will almost certainly defend his country's nuclear program by stressing it's necessary for national security. The nuclear issue will be resolved if and when the threat to our sovereignty and right to life is removed. That means the termination of Washington's hostile policy toward our country. South Korea's diplomat will likely call for greater international efforts to push the North to give up its nuclear arms. This will mark the first time for a top North Korean diplomat to address the Human Rights Council and the Disarmament Conference. Experts say Pyongyang is desperate to counter the swell of international criticism over its human rights abuses and make the case for its widely condemned nuclear weapons program. Connie Kim, Arirang News.